Hi folks, welcome back to another video here on the DoorDash Sucks channel. And um, if you're new to the channel, could you take a second to hit the subscription button, the like button, the notification bell so you won't miss another video. And I wanted to bring you an update on Dashing Trader uh, on what happened with his channel and stuff. And we, we found out. So, and I want to give uh, all credit to Hannibal is Hungry's channel for his video. Uh, but I wanted to play it here as well because um, he does such a great job explaining what happened, you know. And, uh, and also, you'll see the, the new channel that Dashing Trader has. So, without any further ado, let's play the video. Like I said, all credit goes to Hannibal is Hungry's channel for... Um, for the video he made great explanation in there um and so make sure you go over and sub to hannibal's channel and go over to sub to dashing traders new channel so let's roll the video thanks for watching catch you guys on the next one take care my youtube channel has officially been terminated the dashing trader channel has been terminated Basically everything I've done for the last year in regards to my social media brand and influence, it's all down the drain. YouTubers are being targeted most prominently by spear phishing campaigns that pose as a sponsor. In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about Dash and Trader and how his YouTube account was hacked through a phishing campaign that hackers were able to have access to his Gmail, his YouTube account. It doesn't matter if you have a YouTube account or not. These scams are out there and it's affecting so many people. So I really wanted to talk about the situation that happened with Dashing Trader and how his account was hacked over the weekend. I noticed when I went on Dashing Trader's channel a couple of days ago that it was totally rebranded. It had Ripple, it was talking about cryptocurrency. There was a bunch of live streams. Clearly something was wrong with Dashing Trader's YouTube channel. Somehow I remembered that he was on TikTok and I saw a video on his TikTok that verified that he was indeed hacked. He has a new YouTube channel, it's called Black Leg Jones. The link will be in the description below. If you were subscribed to him before, please subscribe to him as he's rebuilding his channel because currently the Dashing Trader channel is no longer. I'm sure you guys get phone calls constantly, weird texts, weird emails. People are out to try to extract you from your money. Well, I got an email from Corel Studio, C-O-R-E-L, and they asked me was I interested in a promotion. And of course they got me. Um, me not not thinking and being too overzealous, I guess. I clicked on it and a couple red flags I should have noticed right away. I had to download uh, a PDF contract. So they made it difficult. If somebody wants to send you a contract for a partnership, they are gonna just send you the contract. They are not gonna make you download a big old PDF file. I clicked it to sign in and that's how they got me. By, by masking the contract that they tried to send me as a PDF, it was able to fool Google and they were allowed to send me that email to my Google, right? Because otherwise Google would have flagged it for viruses. But by them making that contract, the fake contract, a PDF form and making it a, a, a big file, it actually was a virus. And when I downloaded that contract, it put a virus on my computer and it prompted me to sign in through Google, right? I did that, lost all access to all my accounts. I found a video that explained the entire process, exactly what he went through, how they're able to not only scam and infiltrate, rebrand, delete your videos, delete everything, completely change the YouTube account. YouTubers are being targeted most prominently by spear phishing campaigns that pose as a sponsor. Sometimes they mask their name better than this, right? They spoof the address or something like that. But when you trace the email headers, it's very often coming back to a sesnom.cz address. And if you engage with these emails, they will correspond back and forth a bit until eventually they elevate you to a second phase. The second phase is where the malware comes in when they forward you to a fake social media page or even outright ask you to download an attachment in the email, which can be disguised within a PDF, an email, a Google Doc, or any number of other potential formats or vectors. If you interact with whatever it is they sent, if you install the program, execute the file, whatever it is, a piece of malware copies your browser instance, also known as a session hijacking, and also replicates your existing cookies. This cookie stealing element is what allows the hacker to gain access instantly to your account, circumventing two-factor authentication, which leads to a complete purge of all your content and a total rebrand. The people who hacked me, they put banners and profile pictures up on my channel called Ripple, Ripple XRP. Once the attackers have access to your channel, they purge it and they sell it. 
This is where we need to take a turn to the darker side of the internet because almost all of these activities take place on the dark web. Using a specialized browser and search engine, you can access a hidden underbelly of the World Wide Web. Bad actors are using dark web services to hire hackers who then execute phishing campaigns or other targeted attacks specifically against YouTubers. YouTube is a platform that contains over 2 billion users. Many of those users are subscribed to multiple different channels. A great deal of them do not have a precise list of those channels and are simply fed videos from that pool in the browse features. If you are able to hijack a channel with hundreds of thousands of subscribers while rebranding the entire account and purging its existing content, you are able to then access a significant number of users who simply do not remember what accounts they are subscribed to. You can simply turn off the comment section and start posting live streams with crypto scams that redirect to your own personal wallet and presto. Your scam is now promoted to crowds of people who might not even realize that they are engaging with a hacked channel. If you make it convincing, you will get victims. There is no telling exactly how many channels have been stolen, repurposed, banned, and left to die. That's a trader. Props to him for accepting responsibility, but at the same time, bringing awareness to this effect. This happens to thousands and thousands of YouTube channels. There's so many crypto scams out there. Why? Because it's hard to track what's happening. The fascinating thing about cryptocurrency, why people love it, is you're able to move currency without a paper trail. That's why a lot of crypto scams are effective because once someone runs off with all the crypto, it's hard to even track what the hell happened. We look at banks as antiquated and there's tons of fees and it's just one big middleman trying to take all your money. But one of the things banks do have is a paper trail. They have a trail of where the funds are going. The problem is with the cryptocurrency, there is no trail and people are able to scam and steal and it's hard to find these people, especially if they have really talented hackers that can get in and get out and leave people with nothing. I know Dash and Trader has appealed. Hopefully they can restore his account. You can follow him on Black Leg Jones. I'll have the link to his channel. If you were subscribed to him before, please subscribe. As a YouTuber myself, I know the amount of effort it takes, hundreds of hours creating, thinking up ideas, and working for free for the most part. This was supposed to be his first month where he was going to receive monetization, the money that he worked hard for, and it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Be careful out there with any kind of weird emails, phone calls, texts. I would say trust no one. That's my approach on all the weird emails I get on a daily basis. I don't trust anything unless it's extremely verified. And that takes some effort. It takes a lot of time for me to trust someone when they email me something in my inbox. And taking attachments, I do not take any kind of attachment unless it was discussed beforehand before I decided to take it. So only trusted resources and we need to become more paranoid with our information, guarding it, maybe using or purchasing VPN services. We have to be even more vigilant to protect our identities. Make sure that you're protecting yourself and researching some of these scams because they're all over the place and they're going after not just YouTubers. Anyone could be a victim of these scams. If I can use this as an opportunity to help the next person so they don't have to be in the same situation I'm in right now, then that's at least the most I can get out of the situation. And uh, I hope this uh, reaches somebody who it can really help. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.